Good morning, my friends. Do you know what today is? Today is Tuesday, and it's time for Takeaway Tuesday with Northern Stamper, and that's me. I'm so excited. What a week. What a week. I'm looking forward to, to it. So you'll notice my new hat. Oh, look, it says I'm going to backstage in Vegas, so I hope you're going to join me. We are going to Vegas on uh, Monday for a Stamp It Up convention. I'm so excited. I'm gonna learn some great stuff and, st and uh, meet some friends and have a great time. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Look, today I dressed in Moody Mauve today. I'm wearing Moody Mauve and oh, I even got my nails to match it. Oh, I'm so excited. Also, I received, look what I got, my mini catalog. You look at all the little tags I already put on. I had actually tagged the whole book, but uh, my bank account seems to say no. <laughs> so, good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Maria, I hope you're feeling better. And, uh, you know, just kick back and, and watch today's card. Oh, good morning, Lynn. And thank you for joining me. I've got lots of stuff to, to show off to you today. First of all, if you don't have... Um, I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you're located in anywhere in Canada... And you can actually grab one of the catalogs for me. Uh, some of the uh, those that have purchased with me within the last 12 months um, will already receive it. Okay, um, they've already set it up. It's on its way in the mail. Should arrive about September. So sadly, uh, customers get it in September, but um, Active Stampin' Up! demonstrators receive it a month early. I'm so excited. I love everything in here. So I had taken a long time and gone through my catalog and chosen some very specific items for myself that we will be using. And if you want to check out some of the items that are coming up and that we're going to be using, take a look. Uh, drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. And I will send you a link for the events and that lists all the items that we're going to be um, doing. Also, um, this Sunday is the deadline, the absolute deadline for the fall stamp camp. We are actually uh, getting close to our capacity. We are very excited. We only have, I think it's only 15 seats left available um, that are um, open. So don't forget, stamp camp. Um, I know it's backwards, but August the 20th. Okay. You got to remember this Sunday is the deadline. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be lots and lots of fun coming up for takeaway Tuesday in the September. The packages have been mailed out and it is circle sayings along with the oval, uh, not the oval punch, the circle punch. Um, got some great stuff for that. Looking forward to it. Also this month, by the end of the month, Kits are on sale up to 30% off, okay? You don't want to miss this. This is, okay, this is like super cute. Festive tags. I'm going to be making cards. I just finished doing all of the stamp cam cards. I finished working on October and November's uh, cards for Takeaway Tuesday. You're going to love this. Okay, I'm going to do this and make some cards, and I will show you in September on this but make sure you grab it right now. It's only $16.20. You don't want to miss this. So this is like super, super cute. Love it. I am excited to work with this. All right. Um, from the new catalog, I've got to show you a couple of things from the new catalog that I, uh, I just made. So this is absolutely cute. Check that out. I made a fall card. Normally I don't make very, very many fall cards, but they had um, a mask. And I thought I'd try it with the blending brushes on and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, so darn cute. And this is with the little bear punch and the, um, there's a walk in the forest uh, DSP. You can cut this guy out. Isn't it cute? It is so darn cute. Just loving it. So I've already got my, my DSP all in the book and I will show that to you. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go for a ride we're gonna kind of place you up onto the camera mount um it's a it's a bit of a ride so uh i do apologize um sadly i have never I'm not very technical uh i haven't figured out uh like the the, the two zoom thingy whatever it's just not working for me but um if you do get a little queasy i suggest take uh, maybe 
30 seconds just to look away, maybe check outside, take a look out the window. And if I lose you, please reload, okay? I do apologize. So are you ready? Let's go for a little ride. I'm going to hold on. Wait. Oh, there we go. One sec. I didn't want to lose you. I want to show you my 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 room right now. So this is my room. I'm getting ready for stamp camp. It is absolutely crazy. You can see that's my desk that I work at. It is abs. Okay, I cleaned that up. All right, I I did. I cleaned it up. And in the background, you'll see all the presents and everything are ready to go for stamp camp. Okay, let's get up onto the camera mount. As I said, my name is Tina Kavrigic, right there, but don't worry. You don't need to know that name. You just need to know northernstamper at gmail.com, okay? Um, you know what? I am loving kits so much. Okay, I am absolutely falling in love with kits that every Friday, uh, the first Friday of every month, I'm going down the rabbit hole with a paper pumpkin. This month's paper pumpkin that usually comes out and delivered by Fed, uh, FedEx in Canada around the 20th of the month. Um, so I'm going to be starting that in September, the first Friday in September. We will be doing this month's paper pumpkin. The next one came out. It looks super cute too. Um, you can order the uh, uh, journal with that. Um, if you want, drop me an email, northernstamper at gmail.com. If you want to try it for one month, I can give you a code. And you can get it set up for one month uh, as opposed to doing the whole um, subscription. So you give it a try. Oh, I talked about that. And I wanted to thank some people for sending me cards. Okay, I've had this hanging around my, my room for quite a while. And I have to thank my friend Elaine for sending this to me. And a little note of, um, of thanks. Oh, there, sending me some, uh, some cheer. Um, I do thank you very much, Elaine, for that. I do, um, if I don't show them, I do have them. It's because they go right up onto my, my gratitude board. Here's another one from my friend Gail. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Look at that. She did this really cool little fold back. I got to try this. Um, it's a, that looks really cool. I love it. So, and absolutely. Okay, I have to get this one. I, I know is not for me, but uh, for my son. Um the crazy cat lady sent me this one. It is fantastic. Look, she even made a little name tag with it, her name stamped on there. So thank you very much uh, for that. I'm going to be giving that to my son. I just had to show it off. Um, it is fantastic. Very cute. I like how you, you like heat emboss that to make it shiny. So that is going up to his room right after this. So I'm giving that to him. Sadly, I am parting with it to give it to him. So in what I do is I do a lot of paper shares and also oh paper shares. That's what I want to talk about. Uh, new designer series paper shares coming up. So I have a little bit of everything. I can't show it all off. But what I do is I participate in my own paper share. And I wanted to show you some of the papers that I have left and what I created with. So um, the next paper share for the for the winter is coming up and it's $75, uh, 95 for shipping um, included. So these were the last little bits of paper that I had from my paper share that I did from the annual catalog. And I've used up some of the paper here. I really love, this is a great paper. It just uses it all up. You don't need to do much, just stamp a sentiment and put place it on. And I just cut out some of the little flowers and pop them up on dimensionals. I uh, use the, the, oh, granny apple green to highlight uh, some of the, uh, the stems there. Really, really nice. So this is just using up, these are the end bits of my scrap that I have. So very nice, very nice. Look at that. Looks, turns out great. So there we go. Um, once a month, I have a catch up day and okay. I had some friends come over and I played catch up and this was my catch up card that I had to create. So check that out. Oh my goodness. I finally finished it. It's like this super duper step card. My goodness. I needed uh, uh, the whole day to, to, to make this card. Okay. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you it was a lot of work, but it was uh, well worth it. I'm going to give it to my niece for her birthday when that comes up. So, wow, that's, yeah, 
fantastic. All right, this is one of the cards I kind of created with a little bit of the DSP coming up from the new catalog. I wanted to show that off. Anyways, enough for show and tell. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to make your card with the kit. This kit um, is uh, it's called 10 Years of Growth. Now, some of you may have missed out. It is sold out. It is gone. So when you see a kit, this is a, a perfect time. If you, you see a kit, make sure you grab it, okay? So what you're going to need if from the kit is this uh, kind of bookcase kind of paper. We're going to be cutting this out. I'm going to be using two envelopes, okay, because I want this piece off the envelope, okay. I want to use uh, the cardstock with the gold speckles on it or gold dots on it. Make sure you have that. Now, paper pumpkin is always wrapped in tissue, and I am just in love with this tissue. I've been, like, taking great care to make sure that it's in great condition. So you want some of that gold tissue paper that came in the paper pumpkin kit. Okay. And we're going to be using, okay, love the stamps. I'm absolutely loving the stamps that they always have. Okay, I got to show you. How can I show you? There we go. Love the stamps that come in every paper pumpkin. Holy cow. And we're going to be using the little flower one. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know. So, and maybe a scrap piece of paper. Uh, this is a piece of um, card base. Whoops. This actually comes off the back of this card piece. Uh, now, the reason I do that is because I find if I use basic white from just the regular basic white uh, compared to the paper pumpkins, there's a slight bit of color change in the white and I like to keep my cards exactly the same so I'll use the items from the, the kits and that's what you want to do if it doesn't bother you don't worry about it okay so let's get started okay so what we're going to do is first I'm going to take this little bookcase and I want to cut this little bookcase out okay so I just cut that little bookcase out Oop. All right, going to use my trimmer. Make sure if you are coming to the fall stamp camp that you have a, a trimmer. You want to have a really good trimmer. And if you have a Stampin' Up! trimmer, I will have blades and scoring tools available for sale there. So you don't have to worry about it in case it gets um, worn out. So make sure you bring your, your, your trimmer. So definitely you are going to need it. So I'm just going to cut out this, this little bookcase. And what I do is to line it up, I'm looking through the gauge here. So there's the track where it cuts. And now if I just back it up right to the edge and I do that for all four sides, it's going to be even all the way around. You'll see it's even all the way around. Okay. So I got my little strips of white going to use this for um, uh, my sentiments and stuff like that and my flowers that I'm going to um, stamp. Okay, so I have that now cut out. In the kit are some little punches. Uh, you just punch them out. There should be a little vase in there that you just punch out. Now, I don't have one because uh, I use them all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this paper, this gold paper, now you don't have to do this. You could just simply just punch it out, pop it out from the paper that you have. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna glue this on, okay? And I'm gonna make my own little vase out of this um, tissue paper. So I'm just gonna glue that on, place that over. Now the reason I'm doing that is because it makes it easier to cut. And all I'm gonna do is cut a little vase out. So let's just cut. Might be a little big, but I can always trim it down. Now, using the, the cardstock underneath makes it much easier to cut the tissue paper. Okay, so there we go. There's my little vase. It has a little bit of a design there with the little, little bits of, I guess, wrinkle in the tissue paper. So I have that. And there's my place. And I'm going to place this on here eventually. Okay. 
what we're going to do next, let's grab that card base. Okay, and we're going to do some funky stuff with this card base. We need to prepare the card base. Now, this is normally the front of the card. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to flip it to the inside. Okay, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it over. So the, the, those dots are on the inside of the card. Okay, so they're on the inside. And all I'm going to do is I'm taking it and I folded it over and then I'm going to fold it back on itself. So I'm going to make a little kind of a fold on itself, like a Z fold. Okay. Now I like this. I want to keep this as the background. Okay. Because when I place this on top, like won't that look really cool with this all the way around? I think it's going to look great. Now, when I was creating this card, I thought, hey, you know, that looks great, but wow, this is kind of plain right here. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Guess what? Remember that tissue paper? You got it. Let's add some adhesive and add some tissue paper to that. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take my, so I've add some adhesive. Um, for tissue paper, I don't like to use the liquid glue because it gets so wet and lumpy. So I just use the Seal Plus, but if you know me, I just love Seal Plus anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to line this up, use my tissue paper, and if I crinkle it, that's okay. You know what? It adds a little bit of texture. All right, I'm going to add that. Oop, this little piece, this little piggy didn't go, want to go. It's like that little piggy wanted to, didn't want to go to market. Let's go straighten it. There we go. So even though the tissue paper is overlapping, let's get, let's get rid of some of that excess, we are going to be cutting it down. So, so we got our tissue paper glued down, right? Now I didn't, like I said, I didn't use the liquid glue, so it doesn't, you can't see it like kind of ripping the paper or like bubbling up underneath, okay? And all I need to do is open this up and I'm going to cut off the excess. And I'm going to carefully do that with my sis, my snips and follow it along. Okay. When you're working with tissue paper, just, you know what, take your time because you don't want it. It like has a mind of its own. It's like herding cats. I don't know. Have you ever tried to herd cats? I got two cats and I can't herd those things worth beans. All right. All right. And we're going to snip that around. And then once we're done, we'll take another look to see, do I need to snip a little bit more? Just take your time and there we go. Okay, we have the tissue paper. All right, yeah, they're looking good. Got a little bit of design in there. Okay, all right. Now, if I lay this back down, now that adds a lot better. I like that a lot better. Oh, something's sticking to me. That I think looks much better, kind of picks up the accent from the gold dots. Now you can leave it like this, but I wanted to add something a little bit more along the side here. And I thought, I was looking around and I like to use stuff from the envelopes, everything from the package. And I thought, whoo, look at those. Now they're in, in the Stampin' Up! kit. There is some punch outs that you can use but I had used them all up so I thought I'm just going to use a little bit of this envelope okay so I'm gonna just I just need a smidgen of it I just need a little bit of that color so I'm going to take a little bit and I can still use the rest of this envelope for, as an envelope to put the card in I just took off a little bit all right see the uh, there's still a little bit it does close, so that looks good, and the color is still on there. And all I want to do is I want to put a little bit on here. Now, I can either do that and have it go top and bottom, but I think I want to have it a little bit, um, a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my oval punch. And I'm going to slip this underneath one side. Come on. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. 
I'm going to do that for the both, both edges. Okay, look at that. Now, because it's getting tucked under, you won't really notice if those two pieces, oh, are you getting out of the frame, um, are like not 100% exact. So it was just enough to add some, some color there. Okay, so I know this is going to go here. I'm not going to move it. Well, maybe I will move it. And then I'm going to add some glue on the top. Oh, careful. And the bottom. There we go. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to place the bookshelf on top. But be careful. Don't glue the whole back of the bookcase. You just want to glue the portion that is going to be touching that flap. If you do put it all the way across, you're going to glue your card closed. And I'm going to eyeball that. Now, it gives a little bit of... Um, it draws your eye a little bit to the left side there with the darker green. And that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so I have this portion of the card finished. Look at that. See, doesn't that look great? All you just need to do is put a little square sentiment right underneath the bookcase and, and place it inside. So I'm kind of done with this at the moment. I'm going to do some stamping and I'm going to bring in some Memento Black ink. Memento Black Ink, make sure that you have Memento Black Ink for false stamp camp. You definitely need to bring that along too. As I said, um, this is the piece from the inside of the card. I am going to use this to stamp these fantastic lilies on. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that they fit. So there they are on there. So that perfect. And take my block and pop it on. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp on that piece of white. Like I said, you can always use basic white, uh, but personally, I like to use the items from the kit because they will match perfectly. So I'm going to stamp that. Remember when you're stamping straight up and down, okay? That turned out really nice. Check that out. Wow. That looks lovely. Just lovely. Now, since we're stamping, uh, we want to add a little sentiment. So in here, I'm just going to grab one of the sentiments. And oh, what am I going to say? This one. Oh, the one I wanted uh, is in the, in the other half of this kit. This was a double stamp kit. So all I'm going to do is hmm let's see i am going to actually maybe i'm going to use the circle sayings and i'm going to use just one of these and i'm going to use the thank you i'm just going to use the thank you from the circle sayings if you follow me you will know that i have used this circle sayings a ton I've used them so much. I think it's such a great, great stamp set to have. I've been using it now for the last three months for almost every card. So let's place that on there. And because I'm going to be fussy cutting this out, I can add it up to the top there. I'm just going to make a little, oop, make sure it has it all on there. We'll stamp that. Okay. And all I'm going to do is fussy cut out these flowers. Now, the flowers have no color to it, but uh, you know what? Uh, me and my Stampin' Blends, if you know me, I love my Stampin' Blends. We are going to be coloring these in with Stampin' Blends. So take a little bit of time, cut your flowers out. Remember, when you're cutting, it's not the scissors that are doing the driving, so to speak. It is the paper. You're always moving the paper in the angle that you want to cut. The scissors are just cutting up and down. The scissors are not moving. Uh, other than to cut, it's the paper that you're moving around. That makes it the easiest way to control when you are fussy cutting. Okay. All right. Almost there. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, now I got my flowers cut out. And I'm going to bring in some colors. And because I'm wearing Moody Mauve, I might as well color them in Moody Mauve. Okay, let's get that out. Okay, now I like to color with three Stampin' Blends. So there's my Dark Light Moody Mauve. And I've picked up a little bit of Bubble Bath. And I need some green for the leaves. So let's get that started. So I like to color with a couple of different colors. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. I think that's Lost Lagoon. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one of the darkest colors. And I'm using the nib end. And I'm just going to add in where I think the shadow would be on these flowers. Okay. Not going to think too much about it. There we go. Then, so that was the dark moody mauve. I'm going to move into the light. Whoops. That just took off. Off to the light moody mauve. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. You'll notice the colors are fairly similar, but once it starts drying, it will dry a little lighter. Okay. So I'm going to go through like that. But I'm leaving some white spaces. I'm doing that so I can bring in the, that bubble bath. So this is the third color. This is light bubble bath. And all I'm going to do is go in circles where those Moody Mauve ends. Because I want to take the alcohol from the marker is going to do the blending. And you have to do this before the alcohol dries out. Okay, so I'm just going to go in little circles. You'll notice the first ones I did were in stripes. But the bubble bath I'm doing in circles to kind of pick it up and blend it. Take your time on doing that. And eventually the colors will blend together. And it does dry a little bit lighter than the initial coloring process. Okay. I'm going to go on that, make sure I got all that. And I'm going to go over the same idea with the leaves. So I'm going to take uh, the Dark Lost Lagoon and I'm just going to kind of touch in some of the leaves. Oh, I forgot a petal. And I'm leaving some white. Or the alternate color. Okay, and I'm going to, this is lemon, no, this is dark lemon lime twist. I'm going to bring in a little bit, blend those two colors together, and it kind of gives some dimension to that. There we go. I like using the three colors of blends because it does, I find it does add a little bit more of color depth to it. Let's go back and do that one, that one little petal. Okay. There we go. That is turning out really, really nice with this color combination. There we go. Did I did I get them all? Okay, I think I got them all. Now, you know what? I think what we need to add, we need to add Wink of Stella. Okay? We just need to add a little bit of, little bit of Wink of Stella to those, those petals. You just give it a little bit of shine to it. Why not? Add Wink of Stella to everything. There we go. I'm going to place that in my vase. This is a little vase I made. So let's glue that down. I'm just going to tape it down with some tape on the back. Okay. Oops. You'll notice that the blends bleed through. So if you color on one side of a cardstock, uh, make sure that you have something else covering it on the back. Okay. Let's place that in there. Oh my gosh, that looks so lovely. 
and I'm going to get my dimensionals and you notice there's a space right here for the flowers. I think it looks like it fits just perfect. Let's get some dimensionals. Add our dimensionals to our flowers. Boop, boop. There we go. I'm going to pop that on the front in that little space so it looks like it's sitting on the bookcase. Oh, it's coming together, ladies. And I just need my little thank you. And, oops, you know I was going to fussy cut that out, but I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to use my trimmer just in case. Just in case. I don't want any crooked lines there. Just make that a little square. And if you have any ribbon... Um, add some ribbon behind. Let's take a look, see what we got in our ribbon box here. This is my odds and sods of ribbon. See, what do we got here? This. Got Moody Move. Oh, I think the Moody Move. I don't know. This one. Oh, this is a little piece. Actually, I like these two pieces together. Let's use those two pieces together. I'm just going to use them both. Why not? Who says I have to, I can only use one, one ribbon. Okay. Now put this a little bit like that back and forth. And then I'm going to add the longer one. Okay. Oops. Make sure it sticks. Hello, stick down. Where's my tape? Let's just tape that sucker down. I have no idea how this is going to look, so this is kind of the thrill. How is it going to look when I'm completely done? So I'm going to make sure I add the dimensionals to the spots that are going to be in contact with the card. I want to make sure there's lots on there, so I put it on the card stock. Oh! Look at that. That looks actually pretty cool. Oops. All right. I'm going to tuck that under there. And should we do that? A little lower, a little higher. There we go. Ah, you know what? Let's just cut this off. I don't want to cut. There we go. And always have we got any embellishments that we can add? Let's see. I got some leftover from another paper pumpkin kit, some black ones. It kind of pulls up that accent of the black one, the, the black ink. So, oops, that one doesn't want to come off. Let's just add some there. One, two, and... Oh, right there in the flower. Where, where, where was I not thinking that? There we go. There we go. And that is it for a card. I don't think I like this one on here. So let's just take that one off. Yeah. And I don't think I like this one on here. Who says you can't change your mind? There we go. I like that better. Should it go on that one? Yeah, it should go on that one. Sometimes, you know, you just got to fiddle with the card. There we go. And that's the card using today's alternative for a paper pumpkin. I'm going to show you my original. There we go. There's my original. This, this one has no uh, embellishments on, but I think I'm going to put, be placing them on too. So there's today's card and there's the original. So there we go. If you have any questions, drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. And hopefully this has inspired you to take a second look at the kits that are on sale. Grab some of those kits and let's make some alternative cards. Don't forget to sign up for the next Paper Pumpkin. It is uh, closing on ooh, September the 10th. So you want to grab that and that will be our October down the rabbit hole. In the meantime, I will see you next time. To let me know what you think of the cards and if you have ever tried alternative cards with kits. Thanks.